noticed that, as I said, this is a really, really healthy B20B. Um, super clean head, like super clean. Look at that, look at those cams. There's no gunk built up. This is how a head should look when you take the valve cover off. No orange, no brown, no black. The lobes on the cams are immaculate. There's no scratches on them. It's good stuff. Now I'm actually gonna be taking out this uh, power steering coolant line, or cooling line, not coolant, but cooling. Uh, basically this is what cools your power steering. There's a little uh, radiator thing that goes here. So I'm gonna just be taking this whole line out because it looks really ugly and I'm never gonna get power steering back in the car. So uh, yeah, this happened. I, uh, <laughs> I removed a whole bunch of stuff from the bay and just kind of started going to town. Um, I didn't record most of it because it was just pain in the butt. I ended up taking out the uh, power steering hoses that, were, that went down there and I'm gonna have to do some little plugs in those two wires that you see right there. Um, just so that there's no dirt getting in there and stuff. But yeah, basically I just went ahead and masked off some stuff and just kind of went to town with some of the bay here, a little bit of primer. I know it's the lazy way of doing it, but um, I didn't really feel like ripping the motor out and I did have some extra paint laying around. So this is the, uh, the lazy way, but uh, I don't know. Let's see how it turns out, I guess. Okay, so I've allowed it to dry for about 10 minutes. Um, this is just a two coats of really light primer. This is basically just for the, um, the paint to grab onto something because if you don't put any primer, basically the paint is just going to cake up on top of each other and it'll just be like really, really, really like gooey and, um, just really, you're going to have like giant chunks. Like imagine just like the worst case scenario of orange peel and it's going to look horrible. It's going to look like Kragers. So here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna lay a couple of coats of this real quick and then we're actually gonna stop and I'm gonna go grab some mail because I do have some parts coming in and I'm gonna go grab those right now because I really wanna get them installed and then I'll go ahead and finish this up and then I'll show you guys the finished product probably on the next video, so yeah. So we have some mail, it just arrived guys. Um, this is from JHP USA. I'm not going to put any of my information on there. Uh, and this is an order I was waiting for. It took forever to get here. Well, not forever, but it was like a, I would say like a little over a day late just because FedEx was being dumb. But, uh, well, I guess it was my fault too. But anyway, um, and yes, I am just using a regular kitchen knife. Don't shoot me. This is my uh, shift linkage that I was waiting for. Hopefully I don't chop off a finger here. There we go. I was always good at opening presents for Christmas. Just kidding. Yeah, this is innovative mounts as you guys can see. This is the, uh, it should be. Whoa, this one's heavy. This is the uh, innovative B series shift linkage, um, both pieces. It's actually not that expensive. Um, I had found one locally for ninety dollars, which would have saved me about forty bucks. But uh, the guy sold it before I can get to it, so um, I got this one for I think one hundred and thirty ship, which is one hell of a deal, especially because it got here pretty quickly. I ordered this like three days ago, so thanks to uh, today's logistics, things get here so quickly. But uh, yeah, basically, my you guys probably already seen my shift linkage is, is garbage, the one that's currently in the car. So we're going to be upgrading uh, the shift linkage and a lot of other things. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Basically, I'm trying to get the whole shell of the car, like suspension-wise, brake-wise, uh, clutch-wise, and... Uh, you know, braces and all kind of little washers and uh, grommets and stuff, bushings and stuff, whatever. I'm trying to get all of that to be like as nice and quality as I can so that the shell of the car is just like 
awesome because in the past I've gone with basically uh, just like all out motor and turbo builds, but I didn't do anything to suspension, tires, like I just, it's so important um, to go this route first to get something that's reliable and, and then you kind of focus on the, uh, the engine of it. But yeah, this is my B-series shift linkage. This feels so much better. This is like really, really nice. There is some slop, but that's totally normal. The one I have now like basically twists really, really bad here, but this one just kind of moves, which is totally fine. I think you can probably uh, tighten this a little bit more, so I'm going to probably try that. But as long as the joints aren't like really wobbly, which they're not, as you guys can see, there's absolutely no torsion on this part whatsoever. Um, so this is definitely going to help out a lot. And we also have... This guy here, uh, let's not show any information. Again, JHP USA. I really like using them. They're uh, they're very easy to find the parts that you actually need, and they're very descriptive too, so you know exactly what you're buying, and you're not buying something that's not going to fit your car, etc. But uh, this is going to be a. I guess I guess you'll just find out in a second. This is a. Wait for it, wait for it, bam, K-Tuned, this is from K-Tuned, race proven, um, go ahead and toss this aside, and bam, look at that, this is a K-Tuned shifter for B-Series, it is um, really high quality, they even give you a little sticker, nice, so I'm going to basically be putting this somewhere on my car, maybe. We'll see. But, uh, oh wow, it comes with hardware, obviously. Because this thing was pretty expensive. This is $150. But I was going to get a cheap knockoff, but like I said, I really want the actual, like, shell, like the chassis and, you know, just the shell of the car. I want it to be really, really clean and high quality parts that, you know, you can really beat on and they look nice and they feel nice. That's, that's basically what I'm going for, and then I'll mess with the engine stuff. So, for now, this is going to be really awesome. Um, I'm not really sure too much about this. I know you can adjust this ball. Um, hopefully, I didn't just break it. <laughs> but you can adjust this ball, and then it's, like, really adjustable if you want a short throw or kind of a longer throw. But I guess we're just going to find out once it's on there. But, yeah, check it out. K-Tuned, B-Series, and D-Series uh, short shifter. Not really too short, but yeah. It's awesome. All right, so basically we ran into an electrical problem. Um, I'll talk about that later, but it's a pain in the ass. For right now, we're doing the bitch pin on this thing. Homeboys came over to help me out. We already got the basically the exhaust out, the heat shield out, and we got the big bushing in the back out. Now all we have to do is just get this 12 millimeter that holds the linkage right there. And then my first bitch pin ever, so I guess I'm about to find out how hard that shit really is. But it's kind of sticking out. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Yeah, that that good to go. That drain plug's pretty good in there, so All right, yeah. we're, we're just gonna put some fluid in it, right? And then that's pretty much it. The uh, fuck, it's gonna be hard to see it. Let me show. What's up? Yeah, you can do so. Thanks to the homies right here, we got a uh, we got this solid uh, Blackworks bushing on, as well as the innovative shift linkage. This uh, has like I know there's some slop there. I might have to adjust that right now, but it feels really, really, really solid, like just how I thought it would. So um, as you can see all the way back there can't see it anymore because we put the heat shield back on but there's also a black work solid bushing in the back part and feels great okay so it was still a little bit uh loose but i just adjusted it and there's literally like no slop whatsoever this thing's not going anywhere there's no twist anymore there's no anything so along with these uh solid bushings it really does feel like some kind of drag setup but yeah
gears. Oh yeah. I just got back from uh, driving this thing around for a little bit I'm um, just kind of getting a feel for it and I know it's kind of dark in here but I really 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 like this thing like just it's just so beautiful like holy crap I got the uh, this gunk 2 shift knob as well for the 5 speed and it's just holy crap like everything together just is so flawless with the innovative shift linkage, like adjusted the way I like, and the solid bushings, and just this K-Tune shifter, it's just, it's really, really nice, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. Like, it's just so crisp compared to what it used to be like, and I'm really liking it. But, um, as you guys can see, I have all my dash, like, pretty much, like, completely ripped out. Well, at least, like, this area of it. Um, there's an electrical problem with the car and for some reason i'm having a hard time with it um as you guys can see like it's pretty hacked up back there and it's actually a lot less confusing than what it looks like because it looks like it's just horrible but it's really not so basically um i was diagnosing my dash because i didn't have a speedometer tachometer fuel gauge or temperature sensor and the temperature sensor, I kind of ruled out that it's the actual sensor also um, because it was not sending any kind of voltage. And then speed sensor, this thing has a cable, as you guys can see right there, that cable sticking up. That is a cable B uh, VSS for the speedometer. So that was unplugged. So I think just plugging that in will uh, pretty much do it. And then the... Uh, tachometer is working well it wasn't working but it's sending voltage to the lead which is basically the blue wire on this harness um, right there this is this is the blue wire right here and that one's getting voltage so there is a signal just the speedometer or the tachometer the whole dash is basically not working and 
uh, I'm not sure about the fuel. That's going to be for another day. But I was getting all that fixed. I also didn't have turn signals, so I kind of diagnosed that using the hazards. And basically, I found a fuse down there that's... Uh, I forget what it is. It's basically... Um, it's basically like the gauge and the cluster fuse that's also connected to this uh, little... To the clock and I think the stereo too anyway it's connected to that clock for sure and basically I swapped the fuse out because there was a 30 on there and the 30 uh, is supposed to have a 7.5 so I swapped it out for 7.5 and I actually had turn signals that were working as well as a working clock and that had solved basically all my issues except for the dash and then I went to plug the dash back in to see if that solved the problem. And ever since I plugged the dash, now that fuse just keeps blowing. Um, and now I can get the work, the clock or the turn signals to work again, even if I replace the fuse with another one. So I'm having that issue and I'm going to have to basically hit the books and find why that fuse is blowing and fix it. And hopefully that'll fix the dash. If not, I'm probably going to have to get another dash and an ECT sensor. And hopefully the speedometer will work. And then from there, I'll just need to figure out the fuel issue or the fuel gauge issue. Um, but I hate electrical problems, just one at a time. So that's basically uh, basically where I'm at. But uh, I'm in love with this thing, man. I had a dream about it last night about installing it. But thanks to my boys that came down and helped me out. Really, really nice dudes. Um, they're definitely going to be in more of my videos. So, yeah, thank you to you guys. And that's going to be it for tonight. Um... Tomorrow, I'm just going to do regular stuff, go back to work and stuff, and um, see if I can figure this thing out. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.